All right, so imagine this, what it must feel like to grow up your entire life knowing that you do have a sibling out in the world, but you've never met them. It's something that happens a lot, especially with children who are adopted in many cases. It's almost impossible to find their biological family and they keep searching. And two sisters from Florida recently found each other after one of them was given away back in 1955. News 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona got the opportunity to meet up with them and joins us now. And Carolina, it took more than 30 years of searching. How did they finally pull this off? That's right. It was a lifetime of searching and it was thanks to a DNA test that Pam Davis and Beverly Young were able to confirm they are half sisters. One of them actually almost didn't take the test. A few days ago, the meeting they had been waiting for for decades finally happened and they couldn't be happier. It was the embrace that Pam Davis had waited for her entire life. It was shocking, exciting, overwhelming reality. I'm meeting her. I'm seeing my sister for the first time in 62 years. There's hardly any words to explain that. It was something I'd been waiting for forever. And I was finally there to see her, so it was overwhelming. Her older sister, Beverly, just couldn't believe it was happening after spending more than 30 years searching for her. Back in 1955, Pam had been given away by her biological mother, Florence Powell. The sisters believe Pam was the product of an affair, and that's why Florence waited out the pregnancy at a sister's home in Illinois. Once Pam was born, she flew back to Florida, where she gave her up for adoption to Andrew and Beulah Cannon in Palatka. Beverly found out about her little sister through a cousin. It was considered a deep, dark family secret, but she shared that with me. And ever since then, I've been looking for her. My mother knew my bi biological mother, so she had information that normal adoptions do not have. So I knew that I had a sister. She first searched the old-fashioned way. I knew the last name was Powell, so I just, I would just go through phone books after phone books looking for Powell, 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 and it was just year after year, just nothing. Then Ancestry.com was created and they both joined. I didn't know that I would find her because of the adoption, but when DNA testing became available, I thought, if I'm going to find her, this is the way. I took the DNA test and just waited, hoped, and prayed that she too would take it. Her prayers were answered, only after a cousin of Pam's insisted she take the DNA test. I did not want to take the DNA test. I had, my mother passed away in March, and I just had a lot on my plate. It was like, Kelly, I really do not want to do it. It's like... I will do it if you'll just, will you shut up and leave me alone? And she said, yeah, probably not. The persistence worked. On June 19th, she got the news. I opened it and there was Beverly reaching out to me. I had a sister and we just, we connected immediately. Pam says that back in the 70s when there were shows that produced stories about finding loved ones, she wrote them endless letters, but she got rejected. So that's also one of the reasons she was hesitant to take that DNA test because she didn't want to feel heartbroken again. Beverly, the older sister, lives in Michigan. They are planning now a big family reunion in November where Pam will also meet one of her half-brothers who she's never met before. I love that story, mm -hmm. Carolina. Thank you so much. And these DNA tests are yeah. changing lives for people yes. who have been searching. So, I mm -hmm. mean, it's, if you are looking for someone, take that test. Yes, try. Yeah, we did. The Afternoon Anchors did one mm -hmm. about a year ago, mm -hmm. and Lisa Bell is adopted. And through that, she found her half-brother. And just in June, she went out to California, yeah. and they hung out, and they had a great time. So it really changed mm -hmm. her life as well. Yeah, and sometimes I mean, you know about social media and people finding each other. But to find something like a DNA and it just connecting you no matter what state uh, it just it's just amazing makes you really want to you know try it out and see who else you can find out there some other family members exactly give it a try yeah